Uh, hey, it's VJ from Canada, and you're tuned into Johnny Canuckster's Classic Auto Television Showcase. Yeah, my name's Ernie Me, and um, I'm one of the board of directors. I'm meeting here. We meet uh, as often as needed, and there's about six or seven of us, and we keep it going. Um, each one of us has an interest in old cars. We come from many different walks of life, and. Uh, the more I come to this place, the more I get involved with it because it's such an interesting building. This is actually an old car dealership um, from, you know, 80 years ago or wherever in, in uh, Oshawa. So, and it's been operating this way for about 50 years. This museum was uh, started like just around 50 years ago by people that were interested in here. And a lot of the cars you see through here, and there's about 65 cars right now that are on display. And a lot of these cars really focuses on Canadian cars and they were, a lot of them came from the uh, J. Bud McDougall collection. There's a set of Rolls Royces back there. We also have, interestingly enough, one of the first hybrid cars upstairs. There's a Galt from 1911, which was electrical and also gas. So there's your Prius from 1911 happening. I think it was 11 or 18 upstairs to take a look. There's also an Amphi car upstairs. Um, all kinds of cars uh, from different different uh, periods, but mostly mostly the older ones, and it's pretty well run by volunteers and uh, a board of directors, and we have one full time. Here's the different lights as they come through. Um, lights from 1957. Here there's a tail light from a 1949-50 uh, Ford. I know that well because I own one of those too. So This car you're looking at here is one of the most interesting cars to me. This was a one-off car. It's a Rolls Royce and it belonged to Lady Eaton. And right on the front of it, there is a sign that says Lady Bird on it. And it was very nice that we got to keep the car in Canada. This was her car for being driven around in. And uh, like I said, it's a one-off car and a beautiful car in great shape. Uh, that's your Rolls Royce. Uh, and from here on, all the way down, it's a collection of other Rolls Royces through the years. Yeah, so as you move down through the collection, you see um, different Rolls Royces from different years and different body styles. Um, and this is a real thing to have the aluminum hood on this car over here. You know, the rest of the body is painted yellow. Um, and there's a collection of motorcycles here too, and you'll see them interspersed throughout the uh, museum. Um, and on the other side, this is all Rolls Royces here, and they go into the back. On the other side, we have various cars. Uh, there's another Rolls Royce down there. We have a 1909 Model T for here, and there's a 1902 brush. Uh, Orient brush and um, oh, there's so many of them, Alfa Romeo, but many of them is the Canadian cars and that's what we try to preserve is the cars that were made, so many of them right here in Oshawa and uh, the Fords and that made down near Detroit. It's this car right here you're looking at, uh, I'd like to take this out for a Sunday drive, it's a Bugatti, 1926. And so yeah, sports cars or you know, uh, racing cars etc are, are here too. So the car back here is a uh, Hispano Suiza and the interesting thing about this car, so I'm touching it right here, this body is fabric. You can hear it, it almost sounds like a mattress cover there. And uh, it, this is very um, and leather upholstery, etc. and everything like that. So it's a, it was a very good car for its year, etc. But people forget that there's sometimes through fabric bodies. Some of the Brooks steam cars had fabric bodies as well. And now, are, are these cars are they all, all Canadian made in here? Not all Canadian made. Many of them, many of them are, and it depends how sold through have a been Canadian donated. Yes, sold through a Canadian dealership originally. Well, probably, or else donated here by you know somebody okay. in Canada or whatever. Uh, because on your website, I was reading not yeah. only Canadian auto industry, but uh, how, uh, uh, companies that help the Canadian auto industry. Exactly, yeah, and, and a lot of them were. I mean, uh, there were so many different car makers around the turn of the last century through the, you know, the first 30 or 40 years, and so the Depression took care of some of those places, and a lot of competition back in the, the teens, etc. So there are, like, one-off cars around that, uh, you know, so many businesses, like, were starting up. It was a very exciting time. And some survived and some didn't. Some evolved into others. They had to get rid of certain models, etc. But uh, yeah, these, these cars, are, you know, it'd be something just, you could spend a day here just looking at each one of them. The Canadian Automotive Museum is located at 99 Simcoe Street South in Oshawa, Ontario. This museum tells the story of the auto industry from a Canadian perspective from its origin 
and its development. The Canadian Automotive Museum was established in 1961 by Oshawa businessmen. The original intention of the Canadian Automotive Museum was to preserve Canadian automotive history in a entertaining and educational light. Displays include the Brockville Atlas, CCM, Brooks Steam, Red Path, Tud Hope, McKay, Gold Gas Electric, Grey Dort, and many other Canadian built cars. These early automobiles helped to show the impact the Canadian auto industry has made over the years. Vehicles from many other countries also are on display, such as Rolls Royce, Morris, Afficar, Arens Fox, Rio. Though some of these vehicles were not made in Canada, they contributed to the development of the auto industry in Canada.